works the same way. If everything I do is slow, I promise you, you will get slow. If everything I do is fast, I promise you, you will get faster. The way you elicit your contractions will determine the way your athlete moves. If you look at guys and you say, okay, I've got skill guys that move very effectively and they've got to run, why the hell do I have my wide receiver doing the same program that I have my lineman doing? You've got to understand that what they do is completely different. Completely different. What he does takes place at a high velocity. What he does takes place at a lower velocity. If I train the skill guy like I do the lineman, and I train him at a lower velocity all the time, you essentially make your skill guy a lineman. He runs slow. Maybe he doesn't run as slow as your lineman, but he doesn't run as fast as he can run. Okay? Our other day, our light day, is what we call a pause squat. We take advantage of a physiological principle of the muscle fiber. What that means is we go to parallel, pause, and count to three. One, two, three, and then they come up. Why do we do that? A law of medicine, again, muscle force has to develop. It does not take place instantaneously. What does that mean? It means that the fibers, as your fiber contracts, the filaments in your fibers slide past one another. Okay? And they make new contacts. It's a lot of science. Pretty simple, really, what it comes down to. If they're past each other, they can't make contact. The middle of the muscle has the greatest number of contacts. So what I try to do is get to a point where I'm in the belly of the muscle, then pause. Since there's no pass between muscle fibers, I can elicit more time to allow for more connection. If I do that, on the upward force, I use more fibers than I normally would have used. Pretty simple. So basically, all it really means is that pause lets me turn on more fibers to use on the way up. If I can activate more to overcome the resistance, I develop more strength. Pretty simple. It's like we're saying, if I'm out in the parking lot and I hooked up a car and I gave you a chain and I said, uh, you go ahead and pull the car by yourself. And I said, or I said, okay, you got the choice. You can do it by yourself or pick nine of these guys to help you. Which one are you going to do? Well, hell, give me my nine guys. Your human body works the same way. If I can get down there and pause that muscle fiber and allow it to attach more fibers to it while it's in that position, it's amazing how much force you can generate. Injury prevention, prehab, stabilization of the common joints injured in the game of football, plyometrics, explosive training, uh, balance and functional training. You saw some of the things we do. We do different things as far as functional flexibility. I use a lot of yoga and Pilates and other movements to create what? If we got a long bar or a short bar, which one you want? I'm going to take the long bar. Generates more power. Same thing in the human anatomy. If we don't ever stretch, we don't create flexibility, and we make, get more rigid in an avenue, what happens? You shorten down the bar. As soon as the bar shortens, you create less power. Pretty simplistic. And other things we do are impulse training, explosive training, and plyometrics. If you want your kids to move fast, plyometrics are probably the most important thing you can do. And speed mechanics. Probably the most important thing you can do. Why? Because they happen at a high velocity. What I said earlier, what you do is what you become. If what you do is slow, you become slow. Plyometrics do what? What's plyometric mean? You never heard band. What's plyometric mean? It means measurable increase. It means that if I take this band, okay, and I hold this band and it's passive, there's no force in this band, right? It's not stretched. It doesn't snap down very hard. If I pull it up, it snaps down very hard. The human anatomy works the exact same way. Plyometric means when I hit the ground, a stretch is placed on that fiber because it's elastic, in principle, just like the rubber band. If I come off the ground quickly before that stretch dissipates, I convert that stored energy from the, from the stretch to kinetic energy in opposing direction. What's that do? It teaches me to fire the muscle faster and with greater force in a shorter period of time. Uh, those are basically some of the things we do. I mean, we do a ton of different stuff. You guys are interested, you can talk out there. I uh, figured I'd try and hit on the main things. An hour's kind of short for me. I'm used to talking for like four, so. So, appreciate y'all. Y'all be safe.